This is Dr. Lam, founder of DrLam.com, and today we're going to talk about how a person can sometimes feel tense and muscles are unable to relax. This is a phenomenon that's quite common in adrenal fatigue syndrome. Let us back up and see what is really going on. When a body is under stress, the adrenal glands kicks in to produce more cortisol as a de-stressing hormone. Now, if the cortisol is plenty and is working its way through the body, then it will overcome the stress by producing enough sugar and anti-inflammation responses to keep the stress down. However, if the cortisol is insufficient to produce this anti-stress event, then the body can be in the state of muscle fasciculations and tense. Well, this tenseness is because the body, when it is unable to produce cortisol, will then trigger an alarm response. In other words, the body's natural response to stress is to make cortisol. But when cortisol as a hormone is not sufficient or is already burned out in terms of the adrenal being overworked, then the body thinks that it is under stress and it thinks that it is under a survival danger. So what it happens is that the, at the body activates the fight or flight response. This fight or flight response is very common. It is the body's last resort to get us out of trouble. The way to do it, according to the body, is to release a hormone called norepinephrine as well as uh, epinephrine. Both are important. Norepinephrine is released from the brain as well as it travels down to the heart. Epinephrine is released from the adrenal medulla or the center part of the adrenal glands. What happens is that these two important hormones both act together to keep us on alert and keep the muscle tense. In the case of norepinephrine, it also acts as a neurotransmitter to keep us in a very alert state of mind and in extreme cases, it can actually lead to panic attack uh, as well as anxiety. But the body under the uh, hormones of neurotransmitters and the uh, epinephrine and norepinephrine will be in a state of alertness, tightness. The body is unable to relax. And this can go on for a short time and it's okay. Now, if stress uh, keeps on building, and it's relentless, then the release of these items or these chemicals will continue throughout the day. And what happens is that during the end of the day, when the body is supposed to relax, the body is not able to do so because the tense muscles are a reflection of these hormones. As a result, the body is not able to sleep. And even if you sleep for a short time because there's physical exhaustion underway, the body tends to wake up in the middle of the night with tense muscles. During the day, of course, the body is unable to relax. So sometimes you can take a nap and still not able to fall asleep. In fact, you know, if you really pay attention, for most people that lay down trying to relax, if they have a stressful day or they have a tense moment, the first five minutes of the laying down process is, is the body is uh, still in a state of fasciculation. In other words, the body's muscles are still twitching is still blasting its way. So the body is not able to re relax even in the first few minutes. And that's why for most people, they have tense muscles and tense bodies and state of alert. When you rest, you have to have a minimum of about eight minutes, out of which the first five minutes is really about allowing the body's fasciculation to slowly go down. And then the true rest only comes in the last few minutes. So having a tense muscle, unable to relax in a stressful situation is a symptom of adrenal fatigue that you should look out for. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on this topic, head over to drlam.com where I've written over a thousand articles to help educate people. You can also call me at 626-571-1234 for more information on adrenal fatigue and how to navigate it. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.